Greetings to our Denton IC students, teachers, faculty, and staff. Um, I come to you this week after the first three weeks of school, and I cannot tell you um, what a three-week ride it has been. I, I am just truly amazed at the work our teachers continue to do in ever-changing environments, and the fact that our parents continue to support our students in everything that they do, um, and trying to juggle all the different schedules that you have, and everything that's going on. I, I just really appreciate everything that you've been doing. We've had an amazing amazing third week as we have began to um, get our students back face to face. Um, so our transition plan um, includes reopening our campuses um, in a slow but strategic intentional manner so that it's more sustainable for the long term so that our, our students can be in front of their teachers um, and, and learn in a, in a really good environment. Um, for that reason, um, and the fact that our community has done a really nice job of wearing a mask, uh, practicing hand hygiene, physical distancing, and really avoiding large crowds up until this point, um, we feel much, much more confident in bringing our kids um, back to school a little more at a time. So um, we're finishing up our first week where our face-to-face -face learners at elementary school were here, those that chose face-to-face. -face. Our connected learners at the elementary school are still making that happen. Um, at the middle school level, we have our connected learners that are learning from home and we started with a hybrid schedule. We're gonna talk more about that in a minute. And our high school students have also worked through um, the hybrid schedule. So I just wanna talk a little bit about the middle school hybrid schedule because there's a couple of things I wanna talk about. First, um, we had talked about having the um, middle school hybrid schedule go for a minimum of three weeks. And I'm here today to tell you, we think we can accelerate that process a little bit and make that schedule only go for two weeks. So we believe that our teachers and our students really need to get back together. So starting September 21st, um, our students will be able to come back at the middle school level um, every day if they're face-to-face -face students. If you chose face-to-face, -face, um, you'll be able to come back to our school each and every day starting September 21st. And um, we're really looking forward to having that happen. That is made possible because um, our first four days of hybrid um, instruction at the middle school has gone very well. Our students and our staff and our parents have all done a really good job um, with the safety and security protocol. And um, we are ready now to bring in that next phase and combine the cohorts and allow them to come to school each and every day. Our latest data from the Denton County Health Department um, shows that everything that we've been doing is working. Um, you can check our website that connects to a dashboard that we're working on in, in connection with the Denton County Health Department so that you can see exactly what staff and student cases we have by campus um, and where those hot spots are across the district. Um, and we will continue to mitigate um, any COVID-19 uh, positive tests um, with individual isolation, small group isolation, classroom isolation, possibly groups of classrooms, or maybe even school isolation from this point. Um, forward. And as we do our contact tracing and as we learn more about um, the transmission of COVID within our schools, then we will be able to, to shut down things in smaller, smaller segments rather than whole scale large district shutdown. Um, as we move more to face to face, you'll start to see more um, individual student, group of student, classrooms of student, that kinds of thing that um, in the event that we have to we have to have any more um, any more shutdown. Even if we're in quarantine or a student or group of students are in quarantine, we should be able to learn remotely in those environments and, and continue to make those things happen. Um, so based on our enrollment and our class sizes as we move back to, to full in, in person for our middle school students who've made that decision, um, we will only have about 60% of our kids here. So those class sizes will, will main, re remain relatively small. Um, and our campuses have done a super job getting ready. So just in summary, uh, starting September 21st, our middle school students will come back each and every day. Uh, we will combine both cohorts, the Monday-Wednesday cohort, the Tuesday-Thursday cohort, into one group. So you really only have one more week to have to figure out when you come to school and, and trying to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing on what day. And then hopefully um, from September 21st through the end of the school year, we will be able to uh, maintain a daily instructional model um, and we will be at middle school and elementary school. We'll both be at face-to-face um, -face learning on September 21st, um, all the way up and down. And our high schools will continue on the hybrid model for the foreseeable future. 
Um, we're still trying to make sure that we can bring 1,800 students into a building safely with protocol as we, um, as we study what's happening and what's going on in our surrounding community. So again, thank you for your support. Thank you for an amazing beginning. Um, I know we have sign-on issues. I know we have software issues, device connectivity, but everyone is really doing a super job um, working through whatever the, the road bumps may be, the speed bumps may be, and I appreciate all your help and support. I uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a great week.